Today we are in conversation with Dr. Tapan Misra, Director of the Space Application Center of ISRO. What is the significance of the new cryo? This launcher has a two significance. You know. First time a solid booster of a 200 ton class got flown. Though it is the second time flown, but uh, it is a, one of the very creditable boosters. The second is that uh, we have the, put a 25 ton cryogenic engine, but an, uh, actually at the end it was uh, filled with 28 ton fluids. And uh, you must understand that uh, this cryogenic engine, you know, that uh, oxygen has to be put, maintained at a minus 193 degrees centigrade and the hydrogen has to be maintained minus 253 degrees centigrade. And in this temperature, the maintenance of a temperature that especially oxygen is within a four degree window. And uh, below that window, oxygen is so corrosive liquid oxygen that it will eat up that uh, machine itself, all storage. So, it is important that the temperature will be maintained and uh, in this hot summer time that uh, uh, in spite of all double walling, all uh, insulations and everything, the complete storage and the fuel pumping facility first time they say arm jettisoning all got tested on a real time and the motor performance was much, much better. Earlier motor, the Discus 7, the, the 7 ton motor which was in GSLB, they are in a monolithic design that they all brace joints are there. And here it is a fastener joints and maintaining leaks, uh, leaks is a much difficult here, but they did it, but they, it has a much simplicity of assembling the motor. The, fabrication and the assembly of motor uh, and uh, that is what has come this is one of the very successful thing and uh, then the number of stages are low you know booster l 110 uh, udmh engine and then a cryo engine so actually we had a, though the countdown time was kept uh, 25 and half hours, but we had already five hours margin built in on it. We can cut down. So it is a very early countdown it is possible. PSLB takes 48 hours because there are so many stages, so many complications. So in this way, the engine though looks monstrous, that a whole, it is actually much simpler than GSLB or PSLB. It is assembly wise. So, we hope that the future this will become a mainstay and the uh, first run itself is a forerunner of a harbinger of a success in future because uh, we have broken the jinx that uh, usually we, our first launch is, was not that successful but uh, this time we have been fully successful and uh, we had uh, so much confidence on this we put a very high technology satellite. Normally the first launcher, we usually put one almost a dummy like satellite because the satellite is not the focus. But uh, here we put a one game changer satellite. So it uh, mutually both satellite and payload team and the launcher team, the mutual conviction on each other that got display.